Just got off an exit in Sherman. It's about an hour and 20 minutes away. And I'm delivering fish to somebody. I know him. His name's Josh. He owns an auto collision place here. He's an awesome dude. And he's always looking for good haps and peacocks. And well, he's getting good haps and peacocks. We have a paludarium. I have just been in and out of the aquarium, and so I am kind of dripping wet, so to speak, but I wanted to go over this. So what you can see here is the full-on vivarium, turning it into a paludarium. So as you can tell, there is a glass box, so to speak, an aquarium that is down low, and what this allows us to do is fill the water up. So I am going to get a platform that'll probably sit about 10 inches off the bottom and then I'll be able to build out. So what I wanted to do is I kind of wanted to come out about here so I can get full plants because I have a lot of them and then it's just going to scale all the way up. I had thought about a really, really cool waterfall, but then I said, mm, not a good idea because if it breaks, then I gotta take it apart, etc. But, I do, however, wanna go over these plants. Look at this. Josh's frogs in the clutch. Liana, the artillery microphylla, white Mexican heather. White Mexican, okay, never mind. Dwarf Amazonica, Repens. Pink Fetonia, this is actually pretty cool, look at that. Ah, can you see that in the light? No. Can we get some light in here? Let's walk it down this way. You need to see this one. Oh, beautiful. Can you see? How about this? And that. That is a really, really cool plant. And then we've got tiny tears. Um, you can look a lot of this stuff up, but is this, is this falling? Creeping fig. And then we've got a petite, and then this is one that I really, really like. Hopefully you can see this. Uh, look at that. My goodness. That is a really, really, really cool plant. And so the idea is super simple. I ran the DFW Reptarium. I switched out the skyscraper. I've got some bad boy brooms. And then I've got the, uh, kind of the bottom layer to help. That's gonna be on the, so the vivarium side. The palu side is just gonna be this aquarium. So really, really easy. You know, I've got the ABG, I've got the bit, I, this, is a, this is a drainage layer. Um, this'll go bottom and then we'll put this bad boy there and then we'll add this and then we'll plant all of our plants, the runners, the whole thing, it'll go all the way up. And then we'll get the background set up before we do that, of course. And then that's it. And then we pick the animals that we wanna do, which is gonna be really cool. And so I hope that you follow along that process because we're gonna put it together in one video. It's probably gonna be about 15 to 20 minutes. We'll time lapse some stuff, but I think it's gonna be neat. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this, baby. Let's shut these. Uh, Bang. Bang. So we added the plant finally, right? Pretty sweet, pretty stoked. 
and then bingo, bango, bongo, we moved all of the shells. Somebody is feeling lush today, but let me grab this. Everything is doing extremely well in this tank. I couldn't be more excited. Awesome. I even have some Anubius growing again. You see it? Because I'm just trying to fight them from doing this. So I got fake, 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 and then some real that are lasting, but they're kind of burning out. I've tried pretty much everything under the sun and except under the sun. And it's just not working, but look at this. But what did you really come for, hmm? You saw the title, you saw, you saw the, I'm gonna click on this bad boy because well, they're gone. All of them, haps, peacocks, gone. But why are they gone? Well, I'm gonna be flat out with you. I wasn't super stoked with them. They were beautiful fish. They were amazing selections. Malawi is just not doing it for me. And I can't pretend to have that tank up and running and enjoy it. It's nice, it was colorful, and it may have been something you loved, but for me it wasn't. I didn't enjoy, I enjoyed a few fish out of there, but that was it. So it's time to switch it up. The reason why I got rid of them so fast, this transpired rather quickly. I have a friend that's local, and he had been looking for haps and peacocks that were uh, nice size, good color, and of course he didn't want to pay a ton. So I reached out to him and said, I got haps and peacocks for you, are you interested? He said, sure, can you bring them Sunday? And boom, that's what I did. So today they went, I'm going to give you a rundown of this tank real quick and then um, maybe you can help me down in the comments pick the next fish that goes in there or maybe we get rid of it. And if you were paying attention to videos, I alluded to this. So let's, let's deep dive into this tank and find out what, what it was that maybe wasn't for me. So I'm not exactly sure the details of what, and you can see I kind of changed up the landscape a little bit, but I shortened, I shortened this up so that there was more space, but there was just something that I wasn't really getting from those fish. And as you can see, the rock pile is looking really good. Look who's still there. Can you see? Bah! Of course I didn't get rid of the catfish. I've had the catfish the longest. But as you can see, the tank still looks really, really good. It's just not my thing. Uh, Malawi is what brought me in. It's what brought us all together. It's what really set the tone for everything that I've done on YouTube. But it's time for me to continue branching out. So in the comments, let me know what you think. What should I do? What should I get? I want a few. I want to stay in Lake Tanganyika um, or get really crazy in Malawi. So. Um, I don't want the typical haps and peacocks. Let me know in the comments what you think, and then maybe I'll pick the three that I like the best, and then we can do a poll, and then we're gonna select it, and this could be the YouTuber chosen tank. How's that sound? But let's make it pretty accessible for me to get. So that is it. Gone, all of them. There is two catfish and a bristlenose placosomus. Now the thought was is if I did get rid of this, I can move those two catfish since they're from Lake Tanganyika, which is, been like that for the last six years and put them in this bad boy. That's something we've got to figure out together. This is still doing luscious. Matter of fact, a frog got out today. I opened it up, spurt, squirted it because I still haven't done this, the misting system. And he literally jumped out and went this way and I had to do my best to take care of him. Oh, ultimately, look at him. Mean little dude. So super excited for this. I'm probably gonna get the background in here tonight just to see how it looks. And then I'll go ahead and adhere it in there. And then hopefully the things that I need, the underwater filter, 
and the, the pre-made, it's a prefabricated platform for myself because I just, one, I don't have the time and two, I don't want to mess around with something because if I'm doing it, it has to be perfect and I cannot do stuff like that and make it perfect. So it's gone. I'm kind of upset and I'm kind of not because I needed to move on. I brought it back because maybe subliminally I, I was doing it because I thought, oh man, this would be cool for everyone. But I was more thinking about everyone and not myself. And honestly, although it was beautiful and I'm sure a lot of people would love that tank, it wasn't doing it for me. And that's okay. That's what happens in the hobby. And I've done a couple videos back. I talked about you have to do what you do because you enjoy it. And I was not enjoying that. The other thing I'd like you to do is go check out Thursday's video uh, where we took a tank a thousand miles uh, to Cody as he just got finished battling cancer and I'd really appreciate it if you did. And um, now that you're watching this video, like, share, subscribe, comment, do all the things that you do to make this relevant. Share this video, hit the notification bell, and enjoy some upcoming videos from none other than moi. They may suck, but some of them may be really good and I don't want you to miss out on the really good ones. Check out the merch down below. You can enjoy a beautiful holla shirt because that is what's coming next. You know what's next. Aha!